Uh, Lauren noticed that some bacteria is multiplying exponentially. While doing an experiment, she noticed there were six bacteria on the first day, there were an additional 18 bacteria on the second day, 54 more on the third day, 162 more on the fourth day, and so on. What is the total amount of bacteria she found on the first seven days? We won't be able to find out the total amount she found on the first seven days. Whenever they issue me, when they give me a list of numbers, I prefer to make a list. So the first was uh, 6, the next one was 18, the next day she found 54 more, on the third day she found 162 more, and so on. And we want to find the sum of all seven numbers. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Now, the formula if you notice they're multiplying by, it's increasing if you multiply by 3, you get from 6 to 18, and then it's been multiplied by 3 again. So you have uh, 18 times 3 gives me 54. If you multiply by 3 again, that gives me 162. So to be able to find out the next number, I can multiply by 3, then multiply by 3, and then multiply by 3. So one way of doing it is just being able to add all seven numbers and you'll get the correct answer. If it's multiple choice, you can go ahead and add all seven numbers and you get the answer correct. If it's on the open response, you need to go through the formula. Since this is multiplying, this is a geometric sequence. To be able to find the sum, I'm going to write the formula as of n is equal to a1. 1 minus r, 1 minus r, and to the power of n. In this case, a1 is your first number, which is 6. 1 minus the rate. In this case, it's been multiplied by 3. So your rate is 3. The 1 minus 3. And to the power of n, n is how many numbers you are adding. You are adding all seven numbers. And from there, I just simplify. So 6, 1 minus 3 to the seventh power is 3 times 3 times 3 times 3 times 3, 2, 4, 5, 6, 7. So that gives me 9, 9, 9 times 3. That gives me 81, you multiply by 9, and multiply by 3, and that will give you 2,187. So let me go and replace it. That gives me 2,187. On the denominator, you can subtract that number, so it gives you negative 2. And then from there, we simplified. So it gives me 6. This will give me negative 2,186 divide by negative 2 and that gives me 6 multiplied by 1093 once you multiply by 6 it gives you 6558 so therefore your answer is B now remember the other way of doing this is by just multiplying by 3, so once you multiply by 3, that will give you 4, 486. And if you multiply again by 3, it will give you 1,458. And if you multiply again by 3, it gives you 4,374. You can also add them, so if you add 4,374, and you add all those numbers, you'll get 6,558. So your answer will be the same. So if it's multiple choice, you can go through the process and just go and add up all the numbers. If it's open response, you have to go through the formula to find the answer. So your answer is B.